If there was really a video that defined how I run my business, how I service my clients in the way that I do, it's going to be this video. I want this channel to be kind of diverse, not only about real estate. I'll talk about real estate. I'll talk about Santa Clarita, but I also want to talk about, you know, myself. I want you guys to get to know me and I'm, I'm going to force you to get to know me because it's essentially my channel. I can do whatever I want. And that's why in this video, I'm going to be talking about how the Marine Corps prepared me for real estate. And I'm going to be talking about real estate in a general sense, because not only do I sell real estate, I help people invest in real estate and I invest in real estate myself. Very recent, very, very new. But first, hi. My name's Danny. I'm a realtor out here in Santa Clarita, California, uh, with a brokerage, Romeo Echo Real Estate, which is a veteran owned and operated brokerage out here in Southern California. If you have any questions about real estate, specifically the greater LA area like Santa Clarita or the San Fernando Valley, I'm out here. Feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is down below and it'll probably be on the screen too. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Let's start off with my history in the Marine Corps. I got into boot camp December 18th, 2012. I believe I got to my unit in 2013. I was in a reserve unit. I was in the reserves for a little bit over six years. I got out the end of May 2019. So I think that's close to like six and a half years. In your time in the Marine Corps, you learn a lot about management. The Marine Corps is really, really adamant in building their leaders. And they've been known for it. It's just, it's instilled in everyone. Leadership traits, leadership values, things like that. And I'm telling you right now, the Marine Corps loves, loves, loves their acronyms. Some of the big ones being SMEAC, BAMSIS, JJ did tie buckle and so on. There's a ton of them. I, I can't go over all of them. I wonder if I can remember all of JJ did tie buckle. It's like a big acronym. Um, justice, judgment. Dependability, integrity, decisiveness, did, tie, tact, initiative, endurance, bearing, unselfishness, courage, knowledge, leadership. Mm -hmm. What's the last one? I can't remember the last one. Enthusiasm? I think, yeah, I, I think that's it. I might have gotten a couple wrong. I'll put it on the screen. I don't really remember. But these are things that like really were instilled in us throughout all of boot camp and all of our time in the Marine Corps. Like you're like straight up brainwashed with this stuff like this is instilled with you like throughout all of boot camp you're reciting this every single day it's 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 crazy okay we got all these traits we have all these acronyms but how does it relate to to real estate at all don't worry i'll get there be patient i got you i got you all right so we have all these leadership traits all these leadership principles that were instilled in us but how do i implement that into my business there's no roadmap in any business that uh, tells you that hey, this is what you're supposed to do. And you know, this is how you implement this specific task, this trait to this part of your business. I mean, there's, there's nothing. I mean, you're, you're just kind of thrown into the wolves and you just go. Ah, but that's where initiative comes into place. This is where you create your own roadmap. But okay, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I have to leave. My calendar is telling me that I have to get to the office today. So let's go do that. And this gives me a chance to talk to you guys about a company that I've been working with, Cuts. Cuts has been an amazing company to work with and they have two new collections out right now. They have their fall collection and they have their fifth year anniversary, which means they have some discounts going on. So make sure to check out the link down below. There's gonna be some amazing discounts, amazing shirts. They have the perfect fit and I don't like to think about what I wear every day so I just, slap whatever I got on and this makes me feel confident with whatever I got on so check out cuts it's awesome and yes I am wearing their fifth anniversary shirt right now feels good looks good I love it all right so we're here at the office and I'm sorry for awkwardly having my microphone there is a massive echo because it's a big space I'd rather have good audio and look awkward than have bad audio and still looking really awkward. So with me not knowing really how to implement these traits into my business, I was seeking some help. So before I was in the brokerage that I'm at right now, Romeo Echo Real Estate, I was with Rodeo Realty and I was with Rodeo Realty in Calabasas. And if you guys know where Calabasas is, it's 
It's really bougie. And when I was there, I felt like everyone was just looking out for themselves. It was really just a dog eat dog type of deal. No bad blood, n no one ever took any deals from me. It's just the vibe that I was getting. It was just money, money, money. That was it. And we're not here to help people. We're here to make transactions and, and that's it. And I understand that there's a place for that, but I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to help people. And I remember the manager of that office talking to me specifically because I wanted to gear my business towards veterans. And I remember him telling me there's no money in that. And I really respected him a lot because of the knowledge and you know his age and what he had done in the business. It really hit me when he said that there's no money in that and not to pursue it. And it is just, it was telling me that I needed to go a different route. It's funny. My recruiter into the Marine Corps ended up getting into real estate as well. With that, he started to develop a brand and gear his business towards veterans. And I remember him speaking to me consistently, talking to me about joining the brokerage and just letting me know like, hey, we're, we're building this. We'd love to have you aboard. I went on deployment and came back and decided to go with Romeo Echo Real Estate. And that's really where everything kind of came together because we had a similar mindset. We all wanted to help out veterans. We all wanted to help out our brothers and sisters to not only just purchase a house, but also invest, grow their business, grow themselves, grow their lives, create a legacy. This is not something that was really taught when I was at Rodeo Realty. Again, I wanna say that there is no bad blood. They have their place in the world they do great. They do great business. There are some great agents at Rodeo Realty, but this is where I felt like I was home. So Adam and Roland, the owners of Rodeo, Ro <laughs> not Rodeo Realty. So Adam and Roland, the owners of Romeo Echo Real Estate, came up with these core values, and they're very, very similar to the core values that the Marine Corps teaches us. By the way, they're both Marines, and this is how they go. Go above and beyond the call of duty, serve, be disciplined, lead by example, build positive and fun relationships, be selfless, have empathy, and take initiative. Each trait has their place in my business, but these are the, the ones that kind of stand out to me, the, the ones that are really easy for me to follow. And those are leading by example, being selfless, and taking initiative. Those things are really, really key when it comes to being successful in real estate. And these are things that other you know, real estate coaches and uh, other brokers really preach a lot is it, taking initiative, being selfless, and you know, just having that mindset of helping people, you'll be successful. And you, you can know all the contracts, you can know everything in and out about real estate, but if you don't have the right mindset, if you don't have the mission of helping people out, it doesn't matter what you know. If you're taking action for people, that's what's really making the difference. So having these values have directly correlated to me being successful in real estate. Doing real estate successfully is objective, of course. It's different for everybody, and for myself specifically, it means helping people in the right way. Because in 2008, 2009, whatever, I don't even remember the date, my family lost our, our home. And it felt like we were being, we were misled the entire way. I was young at the time, so I didn't really understand what it meant to purchase a house, what it meant to maintain a house, what it meant to really keep up with those payments or anything like that. I wasn't taught those values. And these are things that I want to teach my clients and get them prepared to be able to successfully purchase a home and not feel like they're at risk of losing it down the line. That shouldn't be the case. I know I can't control people's decisions, but I know that I can control what happens during the transaction. And I can educate them in a way that makes them feel confident with the whole process. And that's really the goal. Keep in mind that we're dealing with a major purchase in somebody's life. This is a one to like three time transaction in anybody's life. With dealing with that, you need to be trustworthy. You need to be somebody that knows what they're talking about. And you need to be somebody that can solve a problem if it comes up.
part of that is doing things that is not in your job description as a realtor, helping people out in a way that actually helps them out. But I think that's enough for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. I do appreciate it. And if you made it to the end, put it in the comment section down below what you thought of this video. And if you watch any of my other videos, but uh, all right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. This place is pretty dope, huh? Here, let's give you guys a quick tour of this place. Of course, the first thing that we're building is actually a bar. That's what we're building right here, 80 inch TV. And we got um, office space that's gonna be built throughout the area right there. We have a lobby area right there. If you wanna look at the full tour and the, what the plan is for this space, Make sure to take a look at our TikTok or Instagram. Links are down in the description. All right. See you guys. Peace.